pleased to share this devotional with you today about the heart of our Savior Jesus Christ. I wonder if at times we think about uh, the heart of uh, the God that we worship. Sometimes maybe our thoughts are on his holiness, on his transcendence, on how great he is. And those things, of course, are very true. But there's also a part of him that is uh, very deep and compassionate. And his heart, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, is for us today in deep and rich and meaningful ways. Sometimes we find out about the heart of a person when we sit across the table from them and maybe talk to a friend or a relative, and, and they might say, uh, let me share my heart with you, or let me have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. And yes, that can be an important way to find out what really is on somebody's uh, uh, motivations. But sometimes uh, it's by their actions that you see the heart that comes out uh, from them. So I take this devotional today from Matthew chapter 8, verses uh, two, one, 1 through uh, 4, and share with you about the heart of Jesus uh, with um, a leper. And we read there, When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will. Be made clean, and immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Then Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. If you will, is what uh, the leper says. And Jesus says, I will. But in other versions, it's actually a little bit different. And as you read through some other versions, you realize what's happening with Jesus' heart. This is now reading the New Revised Standard. It says, uh, the leper says, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. So it's not a question of power. Lord, are you able to? But Lord, if you choose, do you have the compassion for me to make me clean? Is what the leper is, is saying to Jesus. And then Jesus uh, then says in verse 3, I do choose. And actually, in this case, uh, not in every case, but in this case, uh, the New Revised Standard more closely represents what's happening. It's a, que a question of Jesus' wishing and his willing. And that uh, can best be seen uh, from just a reading uh, of uh, the text in the original language, which we as pastors are equipped uh, to be able to share with you uh, at times when you'd like that. But now back to Jesus' heart. If he wishes, if he cares, and the answer is, I care. I care, and I will cleanse you. Is this the only time? Actually, this happens repeatedly repeatedly throughout the New Testament where Jesus wishes and he shows his compassion by what he does. Such as in Matthew now chapter 14, when Jesus heard this, he um, withdrew from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself. And when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. And when he came ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion for them and cured their sick. It's Jesus' heart action coming out here again, seeing the crowd and being moved. He then heals the sick. And then as we read a little bit further, he takes the five loaves and the two fish and gives them food to eat. Our Savior is very compassionate. He loves us very much and he chooses to Bless us with his goodness and his grace and his mercy. I encourage you today, if you're struggling uh, with uh, wondering if uh, God can love you and you wish to come to him, he is choosing to bless you with goodness and compassion. Don't look to yourself. Don't look to the problems that uh, you might have or the things that you've done. Look to Jesus and look to his heart, for his heart is gentle and compassionate he is for you today, brother and sister in Christ. Will you join me now with a word of prayer? Father in heaven, thank you for 
these words from the scripture and thank you for these actions of Jesus that show his heart that he has for us who come to him. Oh Lord, uh, help us not to look to ourselves today, not to wallow in the past or think of some past problem, but help us to gaze more closely at the heart of your son Jesus and how he cares for us. And then Lord, please, in your grace and mercy, please choose to renew and refresh us so that we might walk more closely with you this day. We ask this today in Christ's name. Amen. And may God's blessing be with you.